Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 54th episode of the multiplayer RPG tutorial series. And then this one will be continuing with our AI system. And the last one when we set up the roaming AI. And in this one we're going to set up our AI focusing on our player. So basically we'll have our AI. We'll strafe around the player. And we'll also look into in the next one if the AI will actually sees or doesn't see the player so the, there will be checks for basically if they're not looking at the player they won't just start rotating around them but uh my girlfriend's birthday is today so i won't be able to record too long of a video i figured i'd get something done before she wakes up if you haven't already don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified when i upload new tutorial videos it's definitely a useful one uh, so without further ado, we will get into setting this up. First thing I'm going to do is just drag my project over here. And now we have my main project opened here. Now we're just going to go into our blueprints, AI, AI behavior tree. I'm just going to open this up. So we have this set up here. And we're going to want to create a new task. So you just click the new task and the final one for a blueprint base. Give you a blank task. And we're just going to put that in our tasks folder. I'm just going to call this focus, BTT focus on player. And in here, we're going to override the normal receive execute. This runs when the behavior tree runs. And we're going to drag out of owner controller, set focus. And what we're going to be setting focus on, we're going to be getting player controller. Get controlled pawn. And we'll plug that into new focused. And this will set the focus on the player. And then we will finish execute because we're finished. This is about the end of the task. Now we can head back into our behavior tree. And we can test it out by getting our task here. You can also search it and you want to get your focus player task. And now we have our AI strafing around our player. We'll be getting, we'll be checking it in the next episode how we can get our AI to specifically check if our AI can see them and if we're in the radius of our AI and things like that, so that they're not always strafing around them. So basically, it'll it'll be used by our combat AI while we're in combat, so we'll be in combat and they'll strafe around us. But that's going to be everything for this quick episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. Or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.